Have you ever pondered on the miraculous creation of the universe, a question that often makes us pause and reflect? A question that brings us to the very beginning of everything. In the beginning, God, four words, simple yet profound, encapsulating an entire worldview. This phrase is the opening line of Genesis, the first book of Moses. It sets the stage for a grand narrative, a cosmic drama that unfolds with God as the primary actor. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Can you imagine the grandeur of that moment? The nothingness that suddenly burst into a symphony of creation, spinning into existence the planets, the sun, and our home, the earth. What's remarkable is how our earth, this beautiful blue and green sphere, was placed just at the right distance from the sun. A little closer, and we would be living on a fiery furnace. A little farther away, and we'd be shivering on a frozen wasteland. But no, we were granted the privilege of the four seasons, the warmth of the sun on our faces, and the growth of plants for our food and our medicine. Consider the lush vegetation, the towering mountains, the vast oceans and the diverse wildlife. All these weren't an afterthought, but a deliberate act of creation. A place of beauty was designed and forged for us even before we set foot on this planet. God, in his infinite wisdom and love, created a place not just for our survival, but for our enjoyment and sustenance. Imagine a world where each sunrise brings a new day of discovery, where every sunset paints a masterpiece across the sky, where the cycle of seasons brings about a continuous dance of life and death, growth and decay. This is our world, a world crafted with care and precision, a world teeming with life and potential, a world that despite its scars and flaws, remains a testament to the power and love of its creator. And so we return to the profound simplicity of that opening phrase. In the beginning, God, before we even came to be, God created a place of beauty and nourishment. Genesis, a book about beginnings of creation, humanity, sin and redemption. Dive with me into the pages of this fascinating book where you will encounter an array of firsts. Just imagine the first marriage, a union so pure and new, where love blossomed under the watchful eyes of the divine. Then the first lie, a moment of deceit that opened the floodgates to the concept of untruths. And with this, the first sin, an act that forever changed the course of humanity. The consequences of this first sin were dire, and yet they paved the way for the first sacrifice. A poignant moment of surrender, a testament to the lengths one would go to rectify their wrongs. From this chain of events sprouted the first children, the first expansion of the human race, a testament to life's enduring nature. But alas, with this life also comes death, and Genesis bears witness to the first murder. A chilling act, it stands as a stark reminder of humanity's capacity for darkness. Yet even in this darkness, there is light. The first flood, a divine reset button on the world, which ultimately gives way to the first rainbow, a symbol of hope and renewal. Genesis doesn't just chronicle significant events, it also provides a glimpse into the early occupations that shape society. From the humble shepherd tending his flock, to the melodious musician, each playing their part in the grand tapestry of life. The soldier, a figure of courage and discipline, and the city builder, laying the foundation for civilizations to come. The book also recounts the birth of a nation, it tells the story of how God's people Israel emerged, painting a vivid picture of their journey, their struggles and their triumphs. Genesis is a treasure trove of beginnings, a chronicle of firsts. It's a book that beautifully captures the essence of humanity's inception and advancement, a testament to our shared history, and a beacon that guides us towards understanding our collective purpose. From the first breath of creation to the establishment of nations, Genesis is truly the book of beginnings. A Genesis is not a mere history book. Instead, it offers a selective spiritual interpretation of history. Let's dive into that idea, shall we? Genesis is like a unique pair of glasses, allowing us to view the world's history with a spiritual perspective. Rather than attempting to provide a comprehensive chronicle of all historical events, it zooms in on particular stories. These stories, while they may seem isolated or even random at first glance, are anything but. They are carefully chosen, spiritually charged narratives that reveal God's grand plan for bestowing salvation. Consider the tale of Adam and Eve. 
It's not merely about the first humans, their paradise and their ultimate fall. Literally, it's a narrative about human nature, our capacity for disobedience and the consequences that follow. It's a story that sets the stage for the need for salvation. Then there's the account of Noah and the Great Flood. It's not just a catastrophic event or a lesson in shipbuilding, it's a testament to God's judgment, His mercy and His covenant with mankind. It's about second chances and the promise of salvation. And let's not forget Abraham, a key figure in Genesis. His story isn't just about a man who fathered a nation, but about faith, obedience and the promise of a savior. It's a narrative that foreshadows the coming of Jesus Christ and the salvation he brings. In the book of Genesis, every tale, every character, every event is a piece of a larger spiritual puzzle. They are threads woven together to form a tapestry that reveals God's plan for humanity's salvation. Through Genesis, we see history not as a series of disconnected events, but as a carefully orchestrated narrative. It's a story of creation, fall and redemption. It's a story of God's love, his justice and his mercy. So when we read Genesis, let's remember, it's not just about the past, it's about understanding our present and anticipating our future through a spiritual lens. Genesis is a spiritual lens through which we can view and understand history. Beyond the beginnings and the spiritual interpretations, Genesis is the start of the redemption story. Let's delve into this fascinating narrative of redemption that begins with humanity's first misstep and culminates in God's master plan for salvation. This theme of exoneration is woven into the very fabric of Genesis, setting the stage for the rest of the biblical narrative. The tale of redemption begins with the fall of humanity. Our first ancestors, Adam and Eve, are deceived by a serpent leading to the first sin, an act of disobedience that separates them from their creator. This unfortunate event sets in motion the need for redemption, the need for a savior to reconcile humanity with God. But God in his infinite wisdom and boundless love already had a plan. The seeds of this plan are sown right in Genesis as we see God offering the first sacrifice, a symbolic action foreshadowing the ultimate sacrifice that would come. This divine plan unfolds further with the promise to Abraham, the patriarch of Israel. God promises Abraham that through his descendants, all nations of the earth would be blessed. This promise, dear listeners, is a direct reference to the coming of a savior, the one who would bring salvation to all. Genesis also introduces us to Joseph, a man who, despite being sold into slavery, rises to power in Egypt and ultimately saves his family from famine. This story is a beautiful illustration of vindication, showing us how God can turn even the most desperate situations into sources of hope and salvation. So you see, Genesis is not just a book of trivial beginnings. It is the start of a grand restoration story, a divine narrative that transcends time and space. It's the story of a God who loves his creation so much that he would go to extraordinary lengths to save it, even if it means sacrificing his only son. Genesis, the first book of Moses, sets the stage for the grand saga of atonement. This book of profound simplicity and depth is a testament to the beginnings of all things. It's a fascinating narrative that gives us a glimpse into the grand design that shaped the universe and the master architect who wove it all together. In the beginning, God and thus the story of our world begins. Thank you for watching and subscribing.